Okay, in this one, here's our index. Here's our style sheet. They want you to know what makes the entire page blue, right? And you can see up here, background color light blue. This is what makes it light blue. Uh, images are positioned to the left. So images float left, right? I mean, correct. So they're floated left. So it's on the left side. This is the size of the image. The margin, so the space between right here. The border color, which is the stroke basically. Uh, the width, four pixels. The style is solid. You could also make it like dots or whatever. And then the radius would be like these corners, how they're rounded. So that's it for that. All right, style sheet. Instead of blue, let's go light green or gray, doesn't matter. And try to change the background color of, of just the paragraphs. Okay, so we're just gonna copy this, right? Font color. Go to the paragraph. And there we go. Hit tab to make it look nice. And there's the color. Okay, read this. Find the body rule style sheet. Okay. Body rule. Cool. Change the color and width of your borders. Okay. Style. Image. black okay there's the color the width let's go 300 um, border styles let's go dotted Put a border on another type of, of the page element, such as the heading. Again, I'm going to clean that up so it's nice. Alright, let's just copy this border stuff. I'll just drop it in here in the paragraph. Right, so I just dropped it in, and now I've got it here as well. Cool. OK, 
Okay, border rate is property. Oh, we already talked about that. It makes the curve. Right, you can see it makes the curve. Okay. Look at the float property in your image rule set. So we have floating left. Let's do it, make it right. So it just goes to the right. So it's going left or right or centered. You can be centered as well. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Find the property in the style sheet that controls the width of the images. Here it is. Change the width. Let's go 200. Okay. Create a new rule in the height property to control the height of the image. Okay, so we have width. We'll just add height. So it's height is 250 px pixels. Use the width property in the paragraph set to change the width of your paragraphs. Okay, again, we'll just copy it. Margin specify. Find the margin property. Okay, margin. Where are you? Here it is. Let's change it to 20. And let's go ahead and change the margin on the paragraph as well. So we've got the margin here and the margin here. Okay. Give the web page a background color. So we'll go to style. there is no style sheet here yet but we've got the link so let's go to our style sheet and what we can do is go back to the one we just did check our style sheet copy it Paste it. Yep. 
and change all this stuff. Green, yellow. Dark green. These are pretty messed up, so let's go ahead and make them fit nicer. Change that to solid. Actually, you know what? Let's not even have a border on the image. Yeah, that looks much nicer. And then we'll change this text here to blue. Sky blue, that's nice. That's not nice, it's hard to read. There we go. Cool. And there you have it. Now, you know what? Let's make these uh, corners nicer. They look kind of funky with the dots. Solid. There we go. That looks better. All right. Properties. Please make sure you understand that. All right. Now we're going to mess with our own style sheet. I'm just going to copy it again. There we go. Maybe I'll move the picture to the left. So image float will go left. Looks pretty cool. We will we'll change this up to black. That's pretty good. All right, you're done.